Hi, I'm Hayden the Art Dude, and welcome to another episode of Hayden's Art Party. Come with me, Hayden's Art Party, Hayden's Art Party, drinking dudes, Devin Clues, come, come with me, Hayden's Art Party, Hayden's Art Party, let's create! Welcome to another episode of Hayden's Art Party. In case you didn't notice, I just upgraded our living the dream, or not our living the dream, our Hayden's Art Party theme song. See down here by my foot, boom! This is my loop pedal. I'll show you a little bit about this. When I press on this pedal, it goes and it starts, stop, start, stop. And what I can do is, let's start it again. And I'll show you, I'm gonna record. I'll press down that pedal and then we'll record. Come. And now you can see, hear that extra that I added in. So it's a cool way that I can start building layers. It's almost like a recording studio, but at my feet. And whenever I want it to stop, I go, whoop, stop. Pretty cool, huh? Thanks for coming to another episode of Hayden's Art Party. I'm Hayden the Art Dude, and we're coming at you every day at 10 a.m. for another episode of Hayden's Art Party. Today, we have a special kind of episode once again. What we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be learning how to do some bubble letters. We're gonna take a visit to my friend Ashley at Tinker Studios. We're gonna go visit her studio. Um, we're gonna come on back and then we're gonna try our hand at some still lifes. So I want us to try doing some still lifes and we're gonna make them self-portrait still lifes so you'll get a little bit more on that later. But we're gonna finish it off today with a performance by my friend, Cold Sweat. So Cold Sweat will be here today and he'll be doing a performance of his fun song, I'm All Right, I'm Okay, and you'll love it. Make sure you guys hit the donate link below. And if you can't donate, please just hit the share button. The share button is more important to me than the donate button, but the donation button is gonna continue making this happen um, until I get a job, right? So thanks a lot for hanging out at Hayden's Art Party and let's get started. With today's warm up, I'm gonna teach you guys how to do some bubble letters. We're gonna work on our three initials today, or if you don't have a middle name for some reason, just use two. Um, the cool thing about bubble letters is we can do kind of whatever we want. Um, we could reference or be inspired by graffiti, or we could be inspired by comic strips, whatever your heart desires. But for this exercise, you're gonna definitely need a pencil for my technique, and then a marker, coloring utensils, things like that. So my name is Hayden Alex Swanson. So it spells out has. So we're gonna write has on the board, and I'm gonna space them out, but I'm gonna do it very lightly in big capital letters. And let's see if you can kind of see what I did there's a little H, A, and S. And what I'm gonna do, and let's see if we can see it on the, the H over here, is I'm gonna then trace along the outside of those letters. So we're gonna do a really simple one for the first one. And then I will go in and erase the stuff on the inside. Now I'm gonna trace that in a nice black marker. So let's check it out. Let's see if we did a good job. And we have a beautiful H. If you just give it about the same amount of spe space when you tra trace around it, you can do a lot of cool things. Another thing I could do to this bubble letter is maybe give it some personality, some like 3D-like characteristics. So I'm gonna make another trace on one side. So you gotta pick the side to see which way it's coming from. So I'll trace, and that's all I'm gonna trace, and we have some 3D letters. Next, I'm gonna do my A, but I'm gonna try and give it a little more flair. So let's see, uh, can you see my A? Maybe a little bit better there. Oh yeah, there we go. This time, I'm gonna use like some sharp edges. 
So I'm gonna maybe do a flare up top, but I'm still tracing around the outside of my letters. Give it a little flare over there, right? And we have the A, add some 3D. Another way you could do a 3D effect is just by adding some little like kind of shines or shimmers, like a kind of like a bubble gum or something like that. And that will give it a little more action. But I'm also gonna trace a thin line along the ins outside to give it like some 3D look. Last letter is the Y. For the Y, let's make this look really like bubbly and gummy type of, or it's not the Y, we're not doing Hayden, we're doing an S. So the S, S is a fun letter to do. So I'm gonna make this look really like some bubble gum. And I'm gonna make a big loop at the bottom. Loop in. Oh yeah. And that's a really nice S. And once again, I'm gonna make it seem a little more 3D. Trace those lines. And you got nice bubble letters. And you could spend this time coloring in these bubble letters. Pick colors that go well together. So maybe, let's see what I got. When I was younger, I went to Germany and I saw this piece of graffiti and it had light baby blue and it had pink in it. And I just thought that that was the coolest color combination. I'm looking for like a baby pink. I think this color combo is like the coolest of all color combos. So I could go in and maybe, maybe I'm gonna take a darker blue too to do the outside edges. But what I could do is we'll do our 3D portion a little darker. But I'll show you how to add some flair to your bubble letters. Let's just take, you know what, the dark color, and I'm gonna just do some squiggle lines. And that's gonna divide up my letter. If you can see, let's get a little closer. You can see how I divided up my letter. But then what I could do is color them two different colors. Like that, and then do that baby blue at the bottom. And we have some pretty cool graffiti-like letter, just like that. So you too can make your own graffiti-type letters, your own bubble letters. I'll show you, make that line a little darker in there to show some cool stuff. And then I used to always just do some weird things up here in the bottom, maybe an X in there to make it look a little more graffiti-like. So you can finish off your bubble letters and make them as pizzazzy as possible. So we're gonna go on a trip and we're gonna visit my friend Ashley in her home studio. She's the owner of Tinker Studios and she's actually been coming at um, on Facebook Live doing awesome art demonstrations, which I'll send to a link below. Um, but let's go see what Ashley has going on. Let's go. Hi Aiden, how are you guys today? Um, I'm gonna show you around Tinker. My name is Ashley Rick. I own Tinker uh, Studio here in Fargo, North Dakota, and I'm gonna show you around my studio today. So we are here in my studio. Well, one of them. This is the wood shop at Tinker. I uh, kind of like to do a whole bunch of different things. I tinker around. So here is the messy, dusty wood part. I do have a couple projects that I'm working on. I also pour epoxy in this space. Um, usually needs to sit for about 24 hours, so it's kind of nice to let it have a space where it can rest. Nobody's gonna mess with it. Um, have some nice windows so I can see outside whenever it's sunny, it's nice. Uh, but a piece right here I'm working on. Uh, let's see if we can zoom in here. So this one is alcohol ink and gold leaf. You can see the the gold leaf there. Other piece I'm working on here. 
is just a nice crow. I use a lot of different materials, um, mainly alcohol inks, but uh, vinyl, I use my vinyl cutter a lot, I use canvas, I use all the wood tools. Um, just depends what day it is and what a customer has asked for. So the nice thing is that I can do a lot of different projects um, and work on a bunch of different things at one time. Um, and then I don't get bored because I get bored easily and I don't like to do the same things over and over and over again. But here on the workbench, I have a couple different projects that I'm working on. All right, so you can see here, these are a couple of my big canvases um, that I'm currently working on. You can't really see the depth that they have until they're sealed. Once they're sealed with epoxy, it kind of helps elevate it and bring out all that texture and all that richness. Um, these are just canvas. I have sealed them first. You can see they're a little bit shiny. Uh, seal them with a, a gloss paint and then I can alcohol ink on top of them and then epoxy pour on top of that once it's all dry. This technique I just started and have been experimenting with. Um, so do the alcohol ink, epoxy pour it, and it's got crystals and stuff inside, um, which is kind of fun and cool. So these will be, I have to draw on them, but they'll look like geodes. And it's kind of nice to give that dimension to it. And it ha adds a little bit more than just the plain canvas look, which there's another one there too. All right, so this was my wood shop, and we're gonna go across. My commute to work is just horrendous. I have to go all the way across this piece of concrete, which is horrible, until I get to the other garage. Uh, this garage is where we park normally, um, but you can see the snowblower. Hopefully we don't have to use that again this year. Uh, but this is nice because this is where I do a lot of my actual painting in this room. Uh, you can see here I have a table set up and all of my mess there. I have supplies up there. And yeah, so this is where I make the painting part. The wood shop is where I do the dirty part or the um, epoxy part, anything like that. Uh, yeah, it's always a crazy mess and it's always really colorful and I wouldn't have it any other way. Um, I know that you have a rhyme or reason to your chaos in your studio and I think every artist can say the same. Uh, we, we have a lot of supplies, we have a lot of randomness, um, but we kind of know where everything is. And I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I will uh, see you later. As you can see, I took the time to finish up my drawing here. We got has, but I chose to do, there's my kind of cool divided one. I made this one try to look like broken glass, but with purple and orange. And then the red I made really bubble gummy. And you could do a better job coloring, but I just wanted you to see a finished product of mine for once. So check it out. And we're back for our project of, and we're back for our project of the day. Today, we're gonna try and mess around with some still lives. I have an awesome table here, ready to rock. And what I want us to do is we're gonna go around and gather a couple of different items around the house that we think reminds us of us, is kind of, it represents us. We're gonna make a still life that is a self portrait without drawing our faces. So by that, I mean, I'm gonna grab some cool things that I think represent me. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go into my awesome room here and I'm gonna grab a bowl to start. So we have our flower bowl. We're gonna add to our still life. Ah! Then we need some more things in our still life. 
Let's see, I love skateboarding. So maybe we can take this skateboard off the wall here, put her down. Oh yeah, that looks cool. Maybe I'll put the, the bowl on the skateboard. There we go. What else do we want? I think we could grab one of my Sesame Street characters. I love these guys. Let's grab Elmo to sit inside the bowl. Elmo's sitting in his bowl, he's ready. Um, let's see what else I can find. Let's find some music stuff that I can take. Um, I know I got a microphone around here somewhere. Maybe I'll just put my microphone stand over behind. I thought I had a handheld, but maybe not. Where is that at? I think it's up here somewhere. Let's find, so, as Ashley Tinker said, we all know where our madness is and where our things are. Um, my studio may seem really messy to some of you, but to me, I know exactly where everything is at. So we're gonna put mic check, mic stand right back here. Let's see if that's gonna work. Oh yeah, that works. We got the microphone, and then let's see what else do we have that would be cool to add. Let's go into our crazy room over here. I think, beautiful, maybe some flowers. Elmo's got flowers. <laughs> I got some flowers for Elmo, and then Let's pick one last thing that I love. I'm gonna go upstairs. And you know what, maybe I can grab, ooh, this is cool. So one time I performed in Turtle Mountain um, out on the reservation out there with my friend, Mike Jordan. He's a super cool dude, um, but they gave me this gift. It's like a little kind of bead drum type thing, uh, almost like a dream catcher. But I'll put that with Elmo. I always thought that that was really nice that somebody gave me a gift for coming out to their their place. So let's check. This is my beautiful still life. And today we're gonna learn how to draw our still lives. So when thinking about my piece of paper, I kinda, this is the main focal point. So the first thing our eye goes to is Elmo. So with my pencil or, you know, with a light crayon, I'm gonna just make, here's that Elmo area can barely see it and then up here is like where my microphone is at nice and light underneath Elmo and here's where my skateboard is so now I know where I'm going to draw so now it's time to get drawing our still life so the first thing I'm gonna start off with is the bowl that Elmo is sitting in so I know where Elmo's head is I'm gonna do a bowl Here's that bowl's ridge. And then I'm only on one side gonna draw the bottom of the bowl because the other side is covered with some craziness. And then let's make sure I got my skateboard on here. Skate. This is an old vintage skateboard back when they used to use like rollerblading wheels. So draw a little wheel, make it 3D, just like what we did with the bubble letters. Another wheel, make it 3D. Oh yeah, we got our skateboard wheel. And we're ready to rock, finish off the skateboard. And there's another wheel on the other side, but we'll worry about that later. Now, I have those little things dangling over to the side, so I'm just gonna mark that area as like, hey, we got some danglers over there. But now, I got an Elmo's foot right up in here. So I'm gonna do a big, think of the shape that is. It's a nice oval and it's all furry, but then we'll do another oval. This is his other foot. And then there's like a little gap up here for his arm. And then over here is some flowers. And I'm gonna take my time and try and remake the flowers to the best of my ability. And you can take, you could take however long of time you want on this project. I have my sunflowers, they go off. I'm gonna do one round like this, but then in the gaps, I'm gonna go and fill in with some more flower petals behind, like that. 
and then we'll do some like polka dot action on the inside. Polka dot, 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 and done. We have our first sunflower. Then I'm gonna go along. We're gonna still just keep drawing flowers for a little bit. They're like these triangular shapes. Be careful if you're gonna do something like flowers or anything with a lot of detail, just be aware there's a ton of detail. So you're gonna be drawing football shapes with these little kind of leaf patterns on the outside. Let's make one dangle down like this. It's kind of sticking out that way. Flowers all around. And then let's do that second layer of flowers. Oh yeah, we got some flower action going on. And now I want, let's get some more leaves in there to fill up that area so it's not just blank. But then I think I'm done with the flowers. Now it's time, time to draw. Elmo, Elmo's head is right up here. So, Elmo's head is an oval. So I'm gonna do that, and my, my Elmo is like a fuzzy oval. So I got that. Then, when I was in like fourth grade, I learned how to do this, so check it out. It's like a mustache. You go boom, 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 boom. Over, boom, 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 boom. And then, Elmo! Elmo likes stories. I'll even give Elmo a tongue, even though my Elmo doesn't have a tongue. We're gonna give him a nose. And then his two eyes up here, but Elmo's eyes on my Elmo are crossed out. I gotta get rid of that tongue. That tongue does not look good. We're just gonna make Elmo have a black mouth. Elmo looks super good. <laughs> then Elmo, we have our awesome dream catcher over here that's got two feathers on it. So I'll draw some little feathers. They're most likely images of eagle feathers because eagle feathers are really important in Native American culture. Um, and it was really awesome for those people to share that with me. We got the leather straps on the side. And then we have some that are kind of bunched up in this area. We can double them up. And then Elmo's got another arm. Elmo's arm goes over like this. Got Elmo's arm, and then the other part of the skateboard over here. Make sure we got all the wheels. Oh yeah. Elmo's gonna go skateboarding. He's gonna ride really hard. There we go, finish off the bowl. And then I'm gonna add my flower designs on the inside. I do some weird squiggles to make my roses. Some flowers. More flowers over here to fill up that bowl. Elmo loves flowers. Flowers make Elmo happy. There we go, and I think that might be it. And now, once you've finished your still light, let's, for, let's compare. We got mine versus real life. Real life. Oh, we forgot the microphone. We gotta add the microphone and then we're done. So we gotta, the microphone is up. Up behind Elmo's head, right up here. I'm gonna add that, it's a rectangle shape. It's got like a fence pattern in there so that you speak through. It's got a little line up here, line down here. But then it has that cool microphone spit protector that goes around there. And then we're gonna give that a nice grid, because that's what it looks like. Awesome! Hey, I'm still ever done! Yay! And the winner of Doodles with Tom is... Andrew Z! Come on down, Andrew Z! We're gonna take a picture of your picture and Tom is going to give it an upgrade tomorrow. Congratulations, Andrew Z, the ultimate drawer of the day. Now it is time for a performance by a dear friend of mine. His name is Cold Sweat! Hey, Cold Sweat! What up? 
Yo, what's up, Hayden? My name's Colt Sweat, and I'm here to do some raps with y'all today. I hope y'all doing okay today. It's real easy. It's real easy. If y'all want to sing along with me, sing along with me. And it goes, rumor has it these are the best days of our lives. Two decades alive, oh how the time flies. I'm saying goodbye to all the bad days. When I was young, I used to wish all the time away. What a dumb phase. Now I'm stuck in time, but at the same place. Getting older, not so picky, developing the taste. This thing called life, I finally have embraced. Almost on my college, now it's time for me to use this knowledge. Time to move on and start another chapter. Find me someone for what happened the other after. I already know life ain't a fairy tale. Even if it was, I'd probably end up in jail. That's what happens when you blaze your own trail. Now I'm looking at y'all, and I'm about to set sail. Hey kids, what's up? I hope you're doing okay. I'm alright. I'm okay. That's what I want you to say. I'm alright. I'm okay. That's what I want you to say. I'm alright. I'm okay. That's what I want you to say. I'm alright. I'm okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotta fly away because I can't stand still. Now I ain't rapping for any record deal. I'm doing this for me. I'm doing this for you. I'm doing this for the kids with the front row view. Played a few dozen shows, highly get paid. My right of passage no longer am I afraid. All I need is a mic, a system, and a DJ. Never on my grind. That is cliche, instead I work hard and devote a lot of time Skip homework, stay out late and write rhymes Never put on music to blow up the internet Just rock shows and gain y'all interest Everything I say comes directly from the heart Ain't the same with some of my counterparts They stuck in a world filled with rap fantasies Hey kids, y'all wanna come and sing with me? It goes, I'm alright, I'm okay That's what I want you to say I'm alright, I'm okay That's what I want you to say I'm alright, I'm okay. That's what I want you to say. I'm alright, I'm okay. Hey, my name is Cole Sweat. Let's get back to Hayden. Peace out, kids. Have a great day. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Hayden's Art Party. I'll be back tomorrow at 10 a.m. And make sure that you like, you share, you donate in the links below. All of those things help make this thing possible. The most important thing to me though is that you click that share button so that I have access to all of your friends and we can get some more art partiers. So thanks for tuning in and I will see you tomorrow at 10 a.m.